Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder video and today I wanted to show you possibly the most fun tank to play in the entire game. It is of course the KV-1, specifically the KV-1 ZIS-5, that being the uh, the type of 76mm gun. This really is an all-round, all-purpose, fun, heavy tank and it's got good armour, a good gun, good enough mobility, all without feeling completely overpowered but it is just awesome so without blabbing in the hangar for too long I think we should take it into some gameplay and uh, show you what this thing can really do on the battlefield so here we are on the golden quarry map not a map I particularly love but that's not gonna stop us the KV-1 really does excel in urban combat we are platooned up with Lord Ames in his KV-1 ZRS-5 and you know we're gonna be helping each other out throughout this battle. There he is at the back there with all the bushes on. This was, I believe, the last game of Friday Games number 13, the Friday live stream that we did. And, well, it really was a nice way to end the stream. It was about as good a result you could possibly get. It was awesome and it really does showcase the KV-1 in all its glory. This Russian monster is going to be absolutely dominating the competition and this thing really does get extremely powerful in a down tier. So we're going to start off by shooting that SAV-20 lots of numbers because that is actually a threatening vehicle, that pesky Swedish tank destroyer with a crazy reload. And you're also going to be seeing a lot of Sherman 3-4s, the Swedish premium Sherman. I don't know why but there were just so many. There's an M42 Duster there, we're going to try and take care of them very quickly. I'm not sure whether the Duster could actually go through our side armor. The KV-1 does have very good side armor and it means you can angle. Angling is this thing's specialty. It really is, you know, just angle it a bit like this. This might be considered over angling, but at this tier with the guns facing me, I'm pretty confident we're basically immune. You've got to keep the turret wiggling a little bit from time to time just to make sure because your turret is usually where people will end up shooting. But if you can keep it angled, keep it wiggling, keep it moving, you know, throw off your opponent's aim, then you can really have some fun. I think somebody, if you fancy a challenge, try and count how many shells bounce off our tank in this game. Well, there's one right there. Now, the gun is mediocre. It's not all that good. It's roughly the same that you get on the early T-34s, but with the new improved penetration APHE shell, you can pull off some pretty good shots. Like that one, for example. There you go, right in the side armor. As they drove down that slope, it actually reduced the effective armor of their angled armor, so that helped us out. There's another American AA. Those 40mm Bofors guns are not going to go through this tank anytime soon. Amazingly, they survived that shot. Okay, fine, we'll just do it again then. Reload the gun, and there you go, that's a bit more like it. We're already up to four kills, and now we've captured B, so there you go. But, uh oh, looks like there's no time to rest. I am actually on crew replenishment, but check out the obliviousness of this Sherman 3 slash 4. Somehow, he is either ignoring me or just doesn't even know I'm here. They are focused on the Churchill Crocodile. That is a tank that they're not going to be killing anytime soon. So if that's the case, then we may as well just take advantage of their poor awareness and keep rolling. The Churchill Crocodile is also at 4.7 and is just as good. Maybe slightly worse, maybe slightly better. It is definitely slower, but it also has better armor but a worse gun, so you make your choice about which one you'd rather prefer. Now, a mistake would be driving around this corner just flat side on. So we're actually going to try angle here. They've taken off our track, but we are still able to traverse round, and now there's no way this T-34 is getting out of this. The Churchill Crocodile and a KV-1. Yeah, there you go. Good stuff. I think he's got the um, European-Canadian decal, I think. I could be wrong. Anyways, um, Lord Ames has returned in his BT-7M. Uh, interesting choice of tank there, but there you go. We're actually going to go, uh, both of us, I think, are going to, going to go on and have a pretty solid game in this battle. I mean, it's already gone off to a great start. Six kills. Can we get any more? Clutch shot on the move. You've got to be careful around those Swedish tanks because they're always slinging Sabo at you. And, well, that can be quite difficult to overcome. 
Another Swede. There's a lot of Swedes so far. And yeah, their armor is not the best. So, you know, it's quick work for the KV-1's ZAS-5 76mm cannon. And I think you can see why this tank is just so much fun. In a down tier, this thing is ridiculous. Its gun is nice. Its mobility is alright. It doesn't really slow you down too much. And the armor is just monstrous. There you go. Nice kill on the Sherman there. And lo and behold, it is another Sherman 3 slash 4. Again, oblivious to our presence somehow. I don't know how you ignore a KV-1, but there you go. It's a 46 ton tank. It's not exactly uh, discreet. All right, we'll keep pushing forwards. We are nearly at the enemy's spawn. They have been really pushed back from all three of the capture zones this game. They are not doing too well. And would you look at that? It's another Swedish tank, the PVKV-2. Don't want that thing running around because that has a deadly gun. So we take out the turret crew and someone else finishes them off, giving us our second assist. Can we get anything else done in the time of this battle? There is an M10 Wolverine up there. And, uh, well, that is a dangerous tank, really. There you go. We did actually manage to bounce his shell. Unfortunately, though, yeah. The gun is not the best on this vehicle. We're trying to angle, but, uh, you know, it was going well. Sadly, a Panzer IV manages to finish us off. A Finnish Panzer IV. I think that was the guy in the Sherman 3 slash 4 that we killed earlier in this replay. So there you go, that was the story of our KV-1. There's not much point in respawning in a KV-1 because you just spend most of the time driving towards the battle and there aren't that many tanks left on the ground. So we're going to jump into a plane, the IL-2M Type 3, with a pretty fetching camo on it. So this is basically here just to snag a couple final kills just before the game ends because we've done pretty well so far. We've hit double figures, 11 tank kills, there are some planes up that we'll have to be wary of, but, you know, we're in an aisle two. It's not exactly uh, an easy kill. There is a Buffalo and a Mustang. Looks like the Mustang is, well, pulling back, hopefully. I'd rather not get in a dogfight with a Mustang. The Buffalo, however, not too difficult of an opponent. And it looks like they're getting closer. Are we going to go for the head-on? Yes, we are. Yeah, you don't want to head-on an aisle two in a Buffalo. Sorry, buddy. And, yeah, not much Buffalo left after that one. So it seems Lord Ains is having a bit of trouble dealing with that T-34. I mean, as you'd expect, it's a T-34 and he's in a BT-7. So we drop one bomb. Unfortunately, doesn't seem to do anything somehow. Um, but we're not going to give up on our friend just yet. The 23 mils on this plane have actually been buffed, so they have a bit more penetration than they used to. And you actually saw we took out the driver there. And our bomb was able to take care of the T-34 once and for all. So, good stuff. We are receiving some flak now, but we should be alright for the time being. And we're just doing a bit more... Oh, a bit of lag there. <laughs> we're just doing a bit of reconnaissance. Trying to find anyone else in the final moments of this game. There is an L-62 Anti-2. Uh, the Swedish anti-air vehicle. A lot of Swedes this game. Amazingly, yeah, they managed to hit me from that angle, which is kind of a shame. It's just me against the Swedes this whole battle somehow. And there's not a whole lot in respawning. You know, we're very close to the end, and no matter what I choose, it's unlikely I'll reach the battle in time. So let's go. Uh, we're going to fly the Yak-9 anyway, but let's have a look at what... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, War Thunder, your replays. Quality stuff, this. Uh, okay, I guess we won't be spectating him. The Yak-9U. Sorry, we're kind of d detracting from the fact that this is a KV-1 replay. It is still a KV-1 replay. We're not going to get too much done, done. Too much done in the Yak-9 in this final moments of the game. There aren't any planes left for us to shoot at. As Lord Ains decided to... Yep, it looks like it is... No, it's still a bit floaty. Yeah, uh, I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, here we are. We're going to be trying to find some open top targets. That Sherman obviously isn't one of them. You know, anti-air vehicles. That's what we're looking for. That L62 Anti-2, which uh, Lord Ames is about to encounter. 
We're going to be coming around for another pass. The game is about to end anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're just shooting up the tanks a little bit, maybe trying to snag any assists here, there. We've only got two this game, but that's okay. I think we experienced quite a lot of bad ping during the stream, so uh, if you're wondering why the movement is sometimes a bit janky, like that, for example. Yeah, looks like we're not going to get the L62 anti-2 <laughs> just in time for the game to end. But here we are, 12 kills, one plane kill, two assists, and one base captured majority of that was done in the mighty kv1 i hope you guys can now see why i think this is possibly the most fun tank in the entire game obviously that is subjective let me know down in the comments below what tanks you enjoy playing because i really think this is a highlight just in the russian tech tree just in the game it's so simple to play but so fun and so rewarding i suppose so yeah if you like the video do hit the like button comment down below what your favorite tanks to play what's the most fun not necessarily best but most fun to play in the game and of course check out the other videos on the channel subscribe for more and i'll catch you in the next one